I'm Argama Witch, and welcome back to Steins Gate. In the last episode, we met up with Fetistown to try to reverse her D-mail, but she said she wouldn't be able to remember what she wrote in her D-mail unless we helped her uh, win her championship. So we've traveled back using the Time Leap Machine in order to do that. So let's jump into it. Go. I brace my wobbling feet. As my vision recovers, I check the clock. It's 10.38 a.m. The Time Leap was successful. According to Ferris, she lost the match due to cleverly concealed interface from the opposing team. Fetus told me how to counter that, her plan. Bring Fetus sunglasses and earplugs before the match. Yeah. Then I can ignore distractions and win for sure. Yeah. I wonder if she's right. No, now's not the time to doubt. Fetus said she would arrive at the assembly hall around 12. I head to the UPX to make sure to buy sunglasses and earplugs on the way. There's still half an hour before the tournament begins, but there's already a line outside the UPX. I didn't think there would be many participants since it's already the finals, but it turns out there's another tournament for the general public at the same time. The opening act, so to speak. The participants enter the hall through a different entrance than the spectators. I'm at the participants' entrance, waiting for Fetus to make her appearance. After about 15 minutes, Fetus appears. She lives right next door to the UPX, so she got a she's got a lot of leeway time-wise. She's got her cat ears and her maid uniform on. It feels strange to see her wearing that uniform despite May Queen not existing on this world line. Fetus' eyes open wide when she sees me. Kyoma, what are you doing here, Nya? I waited here because I wanted to see you. Hanya, are you confessing your love for me? I don't know what to do if you confess right before such an important match, Nya. Don't be ridiculous. Why would I confess to you? You're awfully serious today, Nya. Usually you play along more, Nya. I don't have time to be ho hoeing Kyoma now. I'm nervous about the finals, so I want to lift my spirits, Nya. She doesn't look nervous. Please, just listen to me, Fetus. This is important for your victory. Important? But you don't even know the rules of Rynet, Nya. It's not about the rules or anything like that. Then what is it, Nya? She peers at me with questioning eyes. I better give her the goods before I screw this up. Take these with you. I try handing over the sunglasses and earplugs I bought on the way here. Pafetis pulls back as if on guard. Kyoma? That's lame, yeah? How rude. You're supposed to bring nicer presents, like... It's not a present. These are countermeasures. Yeah? Listen good. I c came from the future. I know, yeah. What? She knows. How? Why? And Fetus came from space, nya. Ugh. What is this mail I got? Mail from the assistant! Are you... Seriously consider electronic locks and key? Who knows what kind of money? You're really being ridiculous as usual. You need to face reality for a change. Mmm... I think it matters. Never say anything about electronic locks and key shard. Where would that come from? Oh, I get it. it. Must be effect of the time leaping. Money. Yes, money is a problem. Sponsor our lab with your, uh, with your thesis publication money. Uh, desperate. All right, I'll tell you the truth, but keep a secret. Saren is after us. I need your help. Uh, 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 uh we'll just go with this one. I don't really care. I don't think it matters too much. Might matter, I don't know. Uh, don't forget, this is Fetus Nyan Nyan we're dealing with. I'm not joking around here. I seriously left from 6 this evening. I know about the outcome of today's Rynet GC final. Don't tell me. Overwhelming victory for Fetus? No. You lose. No. Fetus frowns. But that's only because of the opposing team's interference. So to protect you, I brought you these sunglasses and earplugs. I 
desperately try to convince her, but Fetish just hangs her head, making it hard to read her expression. Are you listening? I grab Fetish's slender shoulders. She's shaking. Fetish? Oh, yeah, Kyoma, you meanie. And then she suddenly explodes. This is very important match for Fetish, Nya. How dare you say I'll lose, Nya? You're being mean. Are you a viral attacker spy, Nya? No. It wasn't your fault you lost. It's... Nya. Not listening, Nya. After a swift kick to my shin, Fetish turns her back to me in a huff. Damn you, cat girl, for once in your life, listen to me. Wait, I said wait. I need you to win, no matter what. Like I said, there's no way I can lose, Nya. And I don't want to wear those ugly glasses, Nya. Fetus needs to be cute at every moment. My fans are counting on me, Nya. Crap, she's getting angry at me now. Fetus shakes me off and runs to the participant entrance. I am not a participant, so if she makes it inside, that's the end of it. Please hear me out. Bearing the pain of my shin, I force my way in front of Fetus and stand in her way. Fetus, please. Mayuri's life depends on it. Someone, someone come here! Nya, help me, Nya! Fetus suddenly starts shouting. She grabs the attention of surrounding participants and spectators. Even staff members are gathering. Crap, I can't talk about the time machine or Mayuri's life with this much attention around us. But unless I can get Fetus to listen to me, there's no way I can undo her D-mail. What should I do? You seem to have an awful lot of time on your hands, eh, champion? That smug voice. A tall man dressed entirely in black walks up to us with a grin on his face. Whenever he takes a step, all of his silver accessories jingle. He dramatically takes off his sunglasses, reveals a face of the guy who gave me trouble before. If I'm not mistaken, he called himself 4 degrees Celsius or something like that. <laughs> Swooping down onto the street, I am the black peacock of Rynetta Realm. The name's 4 degrees Celsius, that's Shido. You get me? I'm the leader of the Viral Attackers. The Viral Attackers. Hmm, the Viral Attackers. I think I've heard that name somewhere before. That's right, they're Ferris's op opponents this match. They're trying to start a fight now. This is the guy who headbutted people out of nowhere. And he seems to hate Ferris for some reason. Yeah, these art styles are two completely different things. Seriously, you disappoint me, champion. You flirt with the system, but that's just noise to my heart. And yet, here you are, before the match, soaking in a corrupted love of the that worthless man. You put on airs of a Siamese cat, but with this duel today, I'll dye that white fur of yours jet black. Gaia has thus whispered, the black cat is the sign of disaster. My black radiance shall outshine your shadow, ushering a new generation of Rynet. Women are already slaves to the living rock mind that is myself. Then this guy can talk, though I have no idea what he is saying. Fetus seems to be thinking the same thing. Why is everyone getting in Fetus's way, Nya? I can't hear myself think, Nya. With that said, she quickly enters the hall, but I grab her hand and detain her. Fetus, I told you to wait. Pause off. I'm begging you, please, listen to what I'm saying. Hey, don't you dare disregard the man closest to the truth of Rynet. This is none of your business. Go away. The hell did you say? Don't you know I'm the black nobleman of Rynet Realm? Weren't you the black peacock of Rynet Realm? Get your story straight. I'm the black peacock nobleman, because black is the symbol of Rynet. The promotional posters all have blue and white motif. It doesn't look like black is in the image color to me. Oh, I get it. You just like to say black. You think you're so smart? I'm gonna dye that pussy black before the duel even starts. 4C approaches with an angry look on his face. 
But I'm the one who should be angry. Mayuri's life hangs in the balance. Fetus isn't cooperating either. I can't believe this is happening. How can I get this guy to go away? After a moment of consideration, I decide to face him as Hoin Kyoma. You know what'll happen if you touch me? Dry ice burns. That's frostbite, you idiot. What? I'm telling you to stop messing with Fetus. Save your bullshit for someone who cares. I hear giggles from all around. Heh. <laughs> They're laughing at you, you corrupt pussy layament. What the hell is that? I think not. They're laughing at you, you pathetic peacock with a bald spot on your head. What? How do you know about my untouchable black spot? I've never told anyone about it. 4C's face turns red. Elementary 4C, Yondo C. I'm an insane mad scientist and travel through time. Nothing escapes the sight of Hoin Kyoba. The name's Shido. Now you've gone too far. For the sins of insulting my ultra cool badass name, I summon you to my garden, the Black Hell. Just you wait. He puts on his sunglasses and leaves, considering this payback for the headbutt. How did you know about 4C's weak point, Nya? Yeah? Nobody's ever seen it. Haven't you been listening? I came from the future. Ah. So please, Ferris, take this stuff. Just hold on to it, okay? But there's no way Ferris can lose, Nya. Yeah. You're stronger than them, no question. But you heard from him just now. They're obviously not going to play fair. They'll do anything to take a win, even if it breaks the Rainetter Code. If you say so. Looks like my desperation paid off. Fadis reluctantly accepts the two items I present to her. Of course she doesn't take them out of the bag. I'm just going to hold on to them. Is that okay, Nya? Yeah, just make sure you have them with you on stage. I promise you'll need them. Sooner or later, she won't have a choice. The theme song to Rainet Kakeru plays through the hall, signaling the start of the finals. There's a kind of majesty to the scene. The tension of the crowd peaks as the voltage reaches a climax. Thanks for waiting everyone, the finals are about to begin! And we'll see once and for all who is the Rainet Access Battler Grand Champion! These two teams are about to clash. First up, the defending champion, our queen, the Moe Maid Cat. That is Nyan Nyan! Oh my god. That is makes her entrance to a thunderous cheering. She smiles brightly and waves to the audience. She really is like a queen. I notice she's not wearing the sunglasses I gave her. And now the challengers. Like a comet, they suddenly appear, blazing across the starry sky. The dark horse, nay, dark peacock of Rynet world. This is their very first tournament, but despite their various troubles, including no-show opponents, they have made it to the finals. They are the Black Absolute Zero. My lab in the U.S. has card keys and fingerprint scanners. It's pretty cool. I don't think you could ever afford them, though. You are absolutely right. The Viral Attackers! The Viral Attackers consist of four degrees Celsius, and some short guy with the same black leather fetish. They look like a couple of punks straight out of Ikebukuro. I sit in stupefied awe as the excitement around me builds. Daru taps me on the shoulder. You gotta cheer for Fetistan too. Yeah. Obviously, uh, oblivious to my anxiety, Dado starts jumping and waving his hands in the air. Fetistan! I love you, Fetis! Moe moe! Cameras flash as everyone tries to get a picture of the cat girl. I'm going to give it my best, everyone, so cheer for me, Nyan. The speakers carry her cute, cheerful voice to every corner of the hall. Apparently... They gave microphones to both teams so that they could talk to the audience. <laughs> 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 Service shot, Nyan. 
Fetus puts on an impish smile and turns to the audience in a sexy pose. She's got like a tray coming out of her stomach. Whoa. The entire hall shakes with the audience's roar. Fetus's popularity is overwhelming. There it is! Yes, Fetus is me! Maddie me! Dado has totally lost it. I wonder if Fetus will be alright. Judging for her judging from her enthusiasm, it certainly looks like she'll be fine. Once the cheering dies down, I speak to Daru. How come there are two viral attackers but Fetus is all alone? What? You don't even know about that? I'm not familiar with the rules of Raina Excess Battlers. I had Daru explain them before the final started, but he only covered the basics. In this tournament, duels take place between two-man teams, but since there's nobody strong enough to be Fetus Tan's dual partner, she goes alone. Two heads are obviously better than one, but Fetus can win despite her handicap. That's why I love her. These viral attackers, what sort of team are they? Hmm. I don't know all the details, but apparently they're a pretty aggressive team. But other than that, there's a bunch of suspicious rumors about them. They've got a lot of followers, you see, and apparently they don't mind using those followers to interfere with their their opponents during duels. Them bastards. About half of the teams they face in the championships were no-shows. And that's not all. Apparently, they even go around beating up Otaku and Akiba and Ikebukuro. Long story short, Rainetters really hate them. Then why haven't they been disqualified? Because there's no evidence. Rainetters are mostly kids and otakus. Just a little intimidation from some guys in black and they clam up. The viral attackers. Fetus told me that their interference cost her the game. But as long as she's got the sunglasses and earplugs I gave her, she should be able to win. And if she wins, she might be able to recall the contents of the d-mail she sent. At least, that's what she said. I need Fetus to win. Mayuri's life depends on it. I'm counting on you, Fetus. Fetus rises to the stage, heralded by thunderous cheers. And naturally, on the other side is 4 degrees Celsius. They face off across from the circuit mat. How do teams work exactly? You can discuss with your partner what moves to make. It's harder for your opponent to predict what you're going to do. So basically, your partner just plays a support role. Well, there's nothing to worry about. Fetus 10 can beat the daylights out of these punks in a blink of an eye. Are both teams ready? The referee gathers Fetus and the two virals for the coin toss to decide who takes the first turn. And now, Rhina Excess Battlers Grand Champion Finals. Instant silence falls on the assembly hall. Everyone holds their breath in anticipation. Dual access. The referees shout signal the start of the game. The room erupts in cheers. And on that note, I'm going to leave this episode here. If you enjoyed this series and you want to see more from me, then please subscribe and do all that YouTube shit. And in the next episode, we are going to watch Fetus's tournament. So I'll see you then.